you are all well and you've had a good weekend or continuing to have a good weekend. Um, I started this kit last Thursday um, <clears throat> basically because I'd used the, some of the decals for the Alabama kit. I decided to build this one as well. I know uh, I've been a bit restricted doing videos so unfortunately I wasn't able to do a um, a video for the start of this uh, build which I've now completed but I did take some stills of the box contents just so that uh, you guys can see um, what you get in the box so I'll quickly show you those now There were 11 ships of this class, um, obviously one of them being Bogue, which I think was the, um, the actual ship type name, if you like. And uh, of the 11, 10 of them survived uh, World War II. Only one, um, unfortunately, was lost. That was USS Block Island. These ships um, altogether sunk 30 U-boats. Now in the big scheme of things and the numbers of U-boats that the Germans had during World War II you would think that that's quite a small number for 11 ships but what we don't know is how many U-boats were chased off from attacking convoys by their aircraft uh, and we don't know how many U-boats were deterred from attacking a convoy because of the presence of these ships so I think um, like many other ships during World War II, it's not so much um, the successes with regards to uh, removing the U-boat threat, but the deterrent that uh, they created. And uh, I think that was a um, fantastic job that, uh, that these ships did. So what I'll do is I'll show you the kit that I've built of um, USS Block Island. So there she is, guys, another um, ship to add to my 1700 scale fleet. So Block Island unfortunately was lost on the 29th of May 1944 off the Canary Islands. Um, U549 managed to get through a dis her destroyer screen and um, put three torpedoes into her uh, which was sufficient for the crew to decide that they needed to abandon ship and I believe that she was actually scuttled, she um, couldn't be saved basically. Uh, six men lost their lives during that attack. 951 though were picked up, which, um, which is a great success considering she'd been torpedoed. Unfortunately, six of her, of her wildcats were on patrol and uh, they had to try and fly to the Canary Islands because they got nowhere to land and they all had to ditch and four of those airmen um, were lost um, two of them being picked up the U-boat that attacked her was subsequently sunk by the um, escorting destroyers so Block Island is the only American aircraft carrier to have been lost during the Battle of the Atlantic um, so that is her claim to fame if you like this, as you saw, was a Tamiya kit, and so no issues with putting this build together at all. The only problem I did have is that the carpet monster seemed to have a field day with some of the small parts on this kit, especially the single anti-aircraft guns. Um, those are two parts. The shield is separate to the actual gun itself, um, and those things were pinging off all over the place. I did, unfortunately, lose the one of the two twin anti-aircraft gun uh, barrels um, so that's not on the uh, on the ship the decals um, as you can see the, um, the dotted lines there uh, came in 
six strips, I believe it was. So it was uh, two strips per length of dotted line. But they went down ever so nicely on top of um, coat of clear. And then I used some of the um, micro set, is it the red one? Microsol, one of the two. And uh, as I say, went down very nicely. The deck, well, the whole ship did have um, a pin wash. I didn't do a sludge wash. I didn't want to darken it too much. Um, you can see that um, the lower half of the hull is a dark grey. And then you've got this haze grey again uh, for the upper part of the hull and the island and the flight deck. The aircraft um, were finished with a white underside uh, then the um, up to the midsection of the fuselage is white, then it's grey, uh, again the light grey, and then it's a dark grey for the very top of the fuselage and the top of the wings uh, and at the tail. The decals are obviously from this kit and they went down very well too. So just a, another enjoyable build and um, an interesting ship to, to add to the collection. Um, and another model out of the stash that's been built, which I'm really pleased about. So that's it guys for this one. Uh, thanks ever so much for watching. Um, as I say, I hope you are all safe and well. And uh, I'm trying to catch up with your videos, which are coming through thick and fast and really enjoying them. Um, <clears throat> whilst I'm hobbying myself, just uh, listening to what you guys are doing and, and looking to the results. So take care and I'll catch up with you soon.